Welcome to the video, everyone. Today, we're going to be discussing linear functions. Essentially, in this, uh, these couple of questions that we're going to work through, it's going to be, they give us a scenario, they give us the variables that we need, and we come up with an equation to represent the relationship. So in this first question, it says, Dylan wants to make a unicorn hair wig, but a unicorn only sheds nine hairs a day. Write an equation to show the relationship between the days R and the total unicorn hairs shed Q. So whenever I start these questions, I always look for the total first. So the total in this case is Q, and I'm gonna put that on the left-hand side. Everything else that happens is gonna be equal to that total because it's the total. Other information we have, it gives us nine hairs per day, and the number of days we have is R. So if you shed nine hairs per day, for R days, nine times R would give you that total, which they said is represented by Q. So Q equals nine R should be our equation for this first one. Q equals nine R. All right, off to a good start. You are taking your grain to market tomorrow and have K bushels of wheat. Each bushel sells for $16. Write an equation that shows the relationship between the total worth J, so there's that total again, and the number of bushels so let's see here, let's start with the total again. It said the total they represented with J. J. And we make $16 per bushel, $16 per bushel. And it says we have K bushels. So if I take the number of bushels K times $16 for each bushel, I should get the total J. So J equals 16K. J equals 16K. All right. Matilda wants to make a unicorn hair wig, so similar to that first question we had. But a unicorn only sheds 14 hairs a day. Write an equation to show the relationship between days D and the total unicorn hairs shed C. So let's again start with the total. The total they called C this time. I'll put it up here. So C is going to be equal to the number of hairs shed per day, 14, times the number of days, they call D. So in this case, C equals 14D. Now, notice that this mathematically is the same because the order of multiplication doesn't matter, C equals D 14. However, it's correct uh, formatting to put the coefficient first, the variable second. So C equals 14D should be our answer. All right, we're back to the unicorn wig. Madeline wants to make a unicorn hair wig, but a unicorn only sheds 14 hairs a day. Write an equation to show the relationship between the days I and the total unicorn's hair shed K. So let's again start with the total. The total is K, so K. And that's going to be equal to how many hairs per day? It's 14, same as the last one. And the number of days in this one they called I. So K equals 14I. Now, notice again. Oops. This, so this one is negative. That's the only one that has K equals. Um, let's make sure that we don't want a negative here. So it says we're trying to find the total unicorn hair shed. Yep, so K equals 14, that was our only option here. Alrighty, on the Farmer Jack. Farmer Jack's total chicken flock, B, is decreasing. So that means it's going down, which means we're gonna need a negative somewhere. He loses 38 per week. Write a formula to represent the relationship between the total number of chickens and the number of weeks, C. All right. So the total number of chickens is B. So let's start with that. It's decreasing, so negative 38 birds per week. And the number of weeks we called C. So B equals negative 38 C. Now if it was increasing, we'd have positive 38, it'd be going up, positive slope. If it's decreasing, and we're gonna make sure we put that negative. So B equals negative 38 C. All 
All right, on a roll, halfway there. The International Space Station, ISS, relies on solar panels and batteries for its power. When the ISS is in the shadow of the Earth, the battery drains, so that's another word for decreased drains, at a rate of 35 power units per hour. Find the formula to relate the number of hours, D, to the total power loss, C. So the amount of power loss, the total power loss is C. It's draining or decreasing, so negative, at 35, right, drains at 35 power units per hour. And the number of hours, they said, was D. So just like the last one, because it's draining, it's decreasing, we're going to put our negative. So C, the total amount of power loss, is going to be negative 35 power units per hour, and the hours are D. So C equals negative 35 D. C equals negative 35 D. All right, we're on a roll. Astronaut Savannah needs to do an EVA in her spacesuit and wants to calculate how much oxygen she will lose, so once again going down, every minute. If Savannah consumes, so she's using it, it's going down, 34 units of oxygen every minute, write an equation to relate the amount of oxygen lost, O, and the amount of minutes, P, that have passed. So the total amount of oxygen lost is O. She's losing, consuming 34 units per minute and the number of minutes that have passed is P. So very similar to the other ones, O equals negative 34 P. Now once again, this same mathematically, but not technically noted the correct way, coefficient first, negative 34 P. So we're gonna go with this first option here. All right, we have another chicken question here. Farmer Daniel this time. Farmer Daniel's total chicken flock D is decreasing, going down again. He loses 13 chickens per week. Write a formula to represent the relationship between the total number of chickens and the number of weeks E. So the total is D. So we'll start off with D. We know his chicken flock is decreasing. So it's going down negative. He loses 13 birds per week for E weeks. So very similar to the other chicken question. D equals negative 13 E. Don't be tricked, right? Into putting negative E 13. D equals negative 13 E. All right, Jackson is running a business, wants to predict the money lost, so we're losing again, to vehicle repairs. Repair costs are $2 per month. Find the formula to relate the lost vehicle repair cost A and the month B. So the total vehicle repair loss cost are A, so we'll put A equals, right? He's losing $2 a month, and he's going for B months. So A should equal negative 2B, right? And we can narrow it down because we know we're losing money, but it has to be one of these negative answers and this is not even formatted correctly with the coefficient in the front. So really that leaves you only with this. And we know that's true from what we found. One more. The International Space Station again relies on solar panels and batteries for its power. When the ISS is in the shadow of the Earth, it drains at a rate of 20 power units per hour. Find the formula to relate the number of hours O to the amount of power lost N. So the total amount of power loss is N. It's draining, so it's losing, it's decreasing at 20 power units, so negative 20 because we're losing that. And it's doing that per hour, and the number of hours is O. So N should equal negative 20 O. N equals negative 20 O. There we go. So that was an algebra linear function, 8.69. I hope you enjoyed it and good luck in your next quiz.